That same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they discussed these things, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them, but they were not able to recognize who he was. Hi there, mind if I tag along? Just a normal everyday guy having a non-miraculous stroll on land, not water, obviously. They stood still, their faces downcast. Ah, what are you guys talking about then? Don't you know what's happened? What do you mean? Have you been living under a rock? Well, you could say that, but go on. Jesus of Nazareth. He was yes. this amazing prophet who did miracles and stuff and was this super wise teacher. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. But the chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and they crucified him. We had hoped that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. This all happened three days ago. Then these women we know went to the tomb this morning and said his body was missing and that they had seen angels who told them that Jesus is alive. Yeah, look, it's all up on YouTube already. Have a look at this. Are your sandals worn out from walking all day? Buckle up and renew yourselves with new leather Air Max sandals. Advert. Yep, so annoying. I know exactly how you feel. Only 99 pieces of silver. Skip. Anything? Who's you, my guys? Ah, uh, look, so here it is. Look, see, that's our friend Mary at the tomb. And she's just noticed he's not there. Whoa, this is a seriously high quality video. I know, right? Next level. Sensational. And she tells Peter and the other guy, what's his name? Anyway, doesn't matter. And they go off and run to the tomb. Worn out from walking all day. Anyway, amazing. So then what happened? Oh, not sure. It just cuts out their copyright issues or something. So let me get this straight. This guy, Jesus, who, correct me if I'm wrong, has had his birth, arrival into Jerusalem, death and resurrection prophesied for generations. That's the guy. You got it. And who, as a prophet himself, the best there is, always on the money, prophesied his own death and resurrection three days later. And here we are, literally three days after his death. And your reaction is to be sad, dejected, and confused, in spite of hearing that he has, in fact, quite possibly, risen from the dead. Well, uh, you're not getting it, are you? Well, this is exactly why we decided to tell the women first. Huh? Never mind. What isn't clicking here? What don't you understand? I don't know, really. OK, see if this will help. Let me run through this again. Oh, this is great. I'm a visual learner. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God said, let there be light. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? Verse 27, and beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. Verse 28, as they approached the village to which, oh no, sorry, we're not there yet. So yeah, does that make sense now? I just can't get my head around it. I got lost again when you mentioned Zechariah. Can we start again from the right, beginning? Right, well, oh, okay. looks like you guys are nearly home. It's been a real pleasure to be with you today. Oh, do you have to go? Maybe just come in for some nibbles? Yeah, I'd love to hear more of your teachings and thoughts on our friend Jesus. It seems four and a half hours Five. is not nearly enough. Okay, I guess I did sort of just randomly tag along on your walk today, and I am quite peckish. I haven't eaten in three days. Oh, I, I mean, bread. I haven't eaten bread in three days. Not that I already know we were going to eat bread in your house. <laughs> How would I already know that? I love bread. I make bread. Actually, I can make a lot of bread out of a small amount of bread. I am bread. Of life. Oh my goodness. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I can't believe it. How did we not think of this until just now? Okay, fair enough. We have that delicious quiche we baked from Thursday. Seriously, it's so good. You'll love it. It is divine. And we should know divine when we see it. And we're friends with Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like quiche? Wow. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. 
I do really respect this process, but I'm so full. You know, it's really amazing to gather together and do this and just trust that God has this whole situation in his hands. I think I'm really beginning to understand just what... Sorry, I was going in for more quiche and I knocked over my cup. My bad. Well, let me get that for you. You ruined my moment. Oops. Ah. Oh. oh. My. Yes. Correct. What? just happened. I knew it was him. How do we not recognize him? Who else can pull a flip chart from thin air? Those glasses were so convincing. We had no chance. He knew we had bread. He knew where our house was. It's so obvious. He hadn't eaten for three days. And still only had one slice of that quiche. Miraculous. Forget that. He's alive. Amazing! We need to tell the others immediately. Let's go! Wait, how do we possibly explain to them that we didn't recognize him after literally talking to him all day? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem 